Hello everybody and welcome back to another review. Um, this is Rebellious Menstruation and the pads that you see before you are from an Australian maker called Lotus Blossom. Uh, while I believe she has an Etsy shop, these pads actually came from her eBay shop. So um, eBay tends to be kind of like Amazon flooded with Chinese cheapies. Um, so when you kind of look up cloth, cloth pads on these shops, you will quite often find um, mainly the Chinese cheapies variety of pads that, that are sold through a variety of companies that sell them and that's kind of also similar to eBay and AliExpress where most of the pads cloth pads sold on there tend to be from these factories in China um, so Etsy possibly has quite a high um, ratio of wham cloth pad makers where you kind of get these individual and unique patterns but in this case as with Lotus Blossom um, these ones came from eBay. It wasn't until quite a while later that I found her on um, Etsy, but by that point I don't think she had a lot in her shop but that I was um, intrigued by. Um, and whereas these ones obviously um, I liked, obviously they are, um, these are, this one's a, a nine inch and the rest are 10 inches. Um, so this Wonder Woman one here is a nine inch they are all uh, cotton topped. They're cotton flannel, hemp fleece and PUL core and they all have this micro fleece on the back and uh, this link one is yellow. Um, this one it just was such a fabulous print. I mean look how adorable she is um, and so they have this micro fleece on the back. Um, she also has these tags. So I'll actually show you the right way in the camera and then the back side of it says made in Australia so these are the cute little tags that are on here so um, there is this just adorable print I literally I pick a lot of them for the print um, and then if I order one or two and I like the maker and I see them with more prints I'll order more um, so this is the Legends of Zelda, of course, gamers would know that. Um, this is the Wonder Woman one. Um, this is Black Widow. And of course, this is um, my favourite Doctor, Eleven. Um, he also had my favourite companions, or companion Amy slash Rory. Um, I kind of get very irritated where... There is a companion that's just like obsessively in love with the Doctor. Um, it's kind of a bit creepy. I am also a big fan of Nine, which was the Eccleston version of that. Um, his relationship with his companion, Billy, um, was um, very well done. Rose, her name, Billy's the actress, Rose is the companion. Um, it was actually very, very well done. I kind of wished... Um, that he had stuck around a bit longer than a season because his relationship with uh, Rose was Rose Tyler was really really well done and the relationship with the mother was really really well done um, but then obviously it moved on to 10 and of course 10 became this really obviously hot love interest and it kind of was like oh okay and then obviously um, 11 came along and his relationship with Amy um, was kind of kind of like Nine and Roses where there was this kind of really interesting relationship developing but even though we got diverted by Doctor Who we will come back to the review. Um, these are some of the oldest pads that I've had because I did look on um, eBay a, long, a little while before I got probably a month before I started looking on Etsy so these were some of the earlier pads that I got. Um, they are again well made. Um, they are um, a three inch um, snap width which can be um, which is actually fine for me but it probably wouldn't necessarily be um, as good for um, as someone who's petita um, they are very as you can see they're not floppy at all they're very very rigid 
so that can may be a concern for some people it isn't for me I prefer them far more rigid than floppy because when you actually pull them down or pull your underwear down to go to the bathroom they don't slip around or fold over I find quite often with floppy ones once you pull them down um, they quite often flop over on each other and it's just annoying um, with these ones as you can tell um, this her tag here is actually on the inside um, so it just does not there's just no way it irritates you because it's already on the inside of this snap um, and the prints are really really delightful um, the stitching hasn't come undone um, this one probably has the only bit of stitching that's even remotely come and it's just not a problem um, and these obviously have stood up to being washed and thrown around and you know they don't necessarily get treated like the delicates that they are they get this backer here is micro fleece um so i've never gone through them um i've actually worn one i think it might have been this one for um, about four hours one day which is usually something i've never leave anything on that long um, even when I wore single-use disposables, which, you know, is eons away now, um, I would never leave something in four hours or on four hours um, because I'd always bleed through it. Um, and I never did with these ones. I might have been out or something, that's probably why. Um, I was going out for five minutes and, you know, five hours later. But, yeah, it held up really well. I didn't go through them. I didn't bleed through them. They cleaned up really well. They go through my wash cycle really, really well. Um, and especially, I don't treat them like delicates. Um, so I'm not too sure if her stores are open still um, because I obviously haven't um, been like looking to buy more pads because you may have noticed if you've watched, watched my stash videos that I have a substantial amount of pads and I try and avoid getting or looking or seeking them out because I know that there are going to be more that I am going to want to buy. So we avoid that by not looking. But even then I will, if I find her sites, I will link them down below. Um, up on your screen at some point very, very shortly or even now, there will be a link to the review playlist for you to watch where there are over 30 videos um, of reviews on cloth pads including the ones from December 2018 and the ones this year from December 2019 so you can always go check them out I will also link the Lotus Pads Lotus Blossom pad review from last year as well as the subscribe button so you can watch the playlist watch this video the last year's video for comparison and hit the subscri subscribe button for more videos outside of that Enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening and I will catch up with you all in the next video. Bye everyone.